Hello and welcome back to the channel. In our last video on Kafka, we saw how to work with a Kafka console producer. And in this video, we are going to see how do we work with a Kafka console consumer, which can consume messages which have been written by a producer to a certain Kafka topic. Now, if you have not subscribed the channel already, now would be a great time to hit the subscribe button and let's quickly get started. All right, so the first thing that we intend to do here is create a new Kafka topic. Um, now, if you are not familiar with this command, do check out the video on Kafka topic and then please do come back here. So uh, this topic is called Kafka topic new and the number of partitions in this topic will be three partitions. I hit enter and Kafka would create the topic for us. And yes, we can see that Kafka topic new has been created. The next thing that I would like to do is simply start a console producer, which writes some messages into Kafka topic new. So uh, let me hit enter. And OK, so now this is asking us for input. So let me input a few messages. Let's say MSG1, MSG2, MSG3, MSG4, and MSG5. OK, let that be it for now. All right, so you would see a little change in your screen. The old terminal that we were working with has been brought on the left side and we have opened up a new terminal on the right side. So uh, I am going to paste a command here which will start the Kafka console consumer. Uh, now it's a very uh, simple command, doesn't need much explanation. So this is the script Kafka console consumer dot sh. We have the bootstrap server um, 127.0.0.1 colon 9092 just like we had in the case of the producer. And here we have the topic, here we have the Kafka topic. So here we specified the topic to be written to, and here we specify the topic that we want to read to. And for the sake of our example, they happen to be the same topic. So when I hit enter, okay, so a bit of a mistake with the command. So it should be Kafka console producer dot sh. And when I hit enter, um, well, we, we, we don't see any output as of now. Uh, so let's try to produce one more message from here. Let's say MSG6. Oh, well, and we see the output MSG6 here. Uh, how about um, M7, M8, M9, M10. And yes, we see that all of the messages that we typed uh, starting from MSG6 appear on our console consumer. So that is what the console consumer actually does. It simply consumes a message or an event from a specified Kafka topic and prints the message on the console. But at this point of time, you might be uh, wondering that Kafka has a tension and we never consume these messages. So how can we also retrieve these messages as well? So uh, for you to just understand, just remember the fact for now that the Kafka console consumer starts consuming messages from the point in time where the console consumer actually started. So uh, after the console consumer started, we had messages starting from MSG6 and we can see all of those messages were consumed, but the messages that were produced or sent before the starting of the Kafka console consumer were not consumed by this consumer. Uh, now there is a way that we can do that as well. So let's quickly check that out. So I hit control C uh, to finish this. You can see the message here, uh, pr processed a total of five messages. Now I will run the same command that I just ran, but we will add an extra option here, which is the minus minus from beginning. And when I hit enter, and as you can see, we see all of our messages uh, right here. So if I cancel this, uh, you can see that this processed a total of 10 messages and 10 messages are what we had sent here. Now, um, you might be wondering why these messages are all jumbled up. Now for that, please uh, pay attention to the fact that we created this topic uh, with three partitions. So all of these messages uh, would have been written to different, different partitions for this topic. And now since we had only one consumer, the consumer is consuming messages from each of these uh, partitions for this Kafka topic. And in this case, the exact ordering cannot be guaranteed, but ordering would be guaranteed within a single partition of a Kafka topic. 
All right, the next thing I want to do here is launch three or four Kafka consumers. So for that, uh, I'll stop the producer and um, actually uh, start that again. And here, I would just multiplex the screen into uh, four terminals so that it's easier to have a view of all four consumers at one go. All right, so I have multiplexed my terminal into four different panes. And in each of these panes, I have written the same command, which is to start a Kafka console consumer, uh, which reads um, any messages from the topic Kafka topic new. And this is not with the minus minus from beginning option. So uh, let's see what happens when we start these four consumers, which will be consuming messages from the same Kafka topic. So I hit enter here, I move here and hit enter here, here, and here. All right, so all four of our consumers are now started. So what happens when I type a new message here? This is MSC um, one. All right, so we are able to see that all four of our consumers are able to consume this message, which was sent, which was sent to this Kafka topic by the Kafka console producer. Uh, let's produce another message. Let's simply have it as two, three, four, five, six, seven, and stuff. And yeah, so we can see all of our messages are reaching the consumers almost in real time. So that was all we had to discuss uh, about Kafka console consumers. And in our next video, uh, we will see how can we use Kafka console consumers in a group? Because generally, Kafka consumers work as part of a consumer group. So please do follow along till here and try this by yourself as well, because the next video will simply be a continuation of this one. And if you like the content of this video, please do hit the like button. If you like the content of my channel, please click subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you very soon with a brand new tutorial.